What's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my absolute best tips and tricks for flat lay styling. So what the heck is flat lay styling, you might ask, and I will show you. Let me go ahead and flip my camera for you guys because I have some setups here that I'm ready to show you. So flat lay styling is simply styling things completely flat and shooting from above, so having an aerial perspective. And this is something that became pretty popular through Instagram. So I'll show you a few different backgrounds that I use and my absolute best tips for getting the best possible flat lay images. The first tip that I have for you guys today is to use a completely clean and minimal background. So why we do that is just to keep it really classic, elegant, and not distracting. So as you can see, if I were to use something like maybe a rug, a busy rug on a hotel floor, or even just a tabletop where you can see other things in the frame, it's distracting and it would take away from the image, right? So the first thing I do is I start with a background that complements whatever it is that I am photographing. So oftentimes in weddings, I'm photographing stationery, flowers, rings, lots of pretty flat items. So we're gonna start with um, just a canvas that I wrapped in some fabric. So I simply got a canvas from an art supply store and I went ahead and I wrapped it in fabric. So when you shoot from above, you can't really tell. Um, so the first thing that I'll tell you, the first tip that I have for you, and sorry, I'm a little bit shaky, um, is to start large to small. So the first thing I would do is gather all the things that I will be styling and keep them in a pile nearby and then start large to small. So what I did first, of course, is I put down this tray because I wanted to utilize the tray. So that's the first thing I put down. I decided that I wanted this to be in the center, but kind of have it cocked off to the side a little bit. Then I went ahead and I added a ribbon. You could also add this ribbon underneath the tray. So that's just stylistic decisions. This is kind of like a peachy warm ribbon. So I think it went really nicely with the colors of the calligraphy. So if you see this calligraphy is kind of a coppery tone. So I'm trying to stick to one family of colors, which is my next tip. So when I added in my stamps, I wanted to make sure it was kind of in that same coppery like burnt color and that way everything complements beautifully. Then I go ahead and I add my ring. So this is nice if you are working on a wedding day or you're doing an engagement session or maybe just a styled shoot and you wanna make sure that the backed up images look very, very similar to whenever you go in and you get that close up. So it's really nice if you go ahead and you have a shot like this and then you go ahead and you get your close up shot, they complement each other really, really well. The next tip that I have for you when you're styling, when you're laying out, when you're deciding where you want your items to go, is to consider your crop. So with this image, you could actually shoot this horizontally or vertically. I shot this vertically, so I like that the ribbon is kind of coming up the top and coming down the bottom, kind of continuing your eye and keeping that flow going. But if you wanted to make it even more fitting, for maybe a horizontal shot, you could add in a few more elements that I got from this same calligrapher. And I'll go ahead and I'll add her information in the information section once I re-upload this video. But if you add in a few more pieces or even move some of these stamps to the outside, it kind of continues your eye. So if you would crop at the top, crop at the bottom, and you have a really beautiful horizontal shot. So I hope that helps you guys out. The next tip that I have is to use your styling aids. So we've already been using them. We have vintage stamps here, we have ribbons. I'll show you guys some more that I have here as well. And if it's a wedding day, you can use the flowers, you can use the garter or any kind of jewelry details that they have during the day. But I find that vintage stamps are a really classic addition that really don't distract from what's going on. And of course, ribbons are great too. I'm obsessed with ribbons. One quick tip. Um, when photographing these is to use a small silver reflector just to get in there and fill in those shadows. As you can see, it really makes a difference. I get these through Amazon. I think this is like the 10 inch reflector. It's really great. It has a gold side, silver side, and it stores this tiny. So it's really great. All right, so on the same vein as styling, another tip that I'll give you is that less is more. 
want to overwhelm your viewer with way too many things. So if you add slowly, you can take a picture, keep adding, take a picture, and look at the back of your camera if you're shooting digital. Look and see what feels off. Is the composition heavy on the top? If you turn your camera upside down and look at the image upside down, that's a good indicator of your composition. If it feels top heavy or right heavy, you'll kind of know. So you'll stop looking at the elements for their detail and start looking at the elements of their weight. And that way you can kind of tell compositionally, how are you doing? Another tip that I have for you is to layer pieces. So like we did with the tray, try to have things touching each other so that not every single thing is completely compartmentalized. It helps the eye flow for your visuals. Um, we talked about the reflector and I'll show you, let me go ahead and do another one. So. Like we talked about, we have a theme of colors here. So let's say that I was going to do another style, or we could do something with like blues and greens. So if we were to do this one, this is blue, you kind of pick up some of these sea foamy colors, maybe add like this ribbon. I think these pieces work well together. I probably wouldn't use this background. Let me see, I might use something more like this warmer like oatmeal tone. Yeah, so if I put this here, and again, I would probably lean towards a vertical for this, and I would just put like a few stamps at the bottom, and then I drape this ribbon. I might open it, but I have one hand for the camera right now, but I might drape the ribbon over here. I'm just gonna hide that little white guy and then put that there. And I think that's just a really clean design. Another thing you could add would be the three wedding rings right here. So that way you have all the interest on the right side, or you could move things from side to side, layer, that kind of thing. So anyway, guys, I hope that this helps you and gives you some flat lay styling tips. I'm gonna go ahead and add some information to the content on the bottom so that you guys know where all this stuff came from. If you have questions, feel free to ask. I would be happy to answer them, and I hope you guys have a fantastic week. I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Bye, guys.